please be patient with our staff as the line can take longer than expected at first until students become more familiar with procedures. Safety is our top priority for our students and a longer wait time should be expected at first as we ensure all parents and children learn these new procedures. Carpool will enter our campus off of Josephine Road following the arrows until they get to the split in the road. Once they get to the split in the road, then they will follow that same pattern following the arrows all through the parking lot as they make their way to the front of the building. Do not park in the parking lot as you're trying to drop off your students. Stay in your car. Students should not exit their vehicle until their temperature has been checked by a staff member. On the right-hand side of our building is where our kindergarten and first grade students will enter the building through a single door. Our second and third grade students will enter through the front door. Our fourth and fifth grade students will enter on the door on the left. Please remember to stay distanced as people in front of you are probably asking for directions or asking where their classroom is at. Students arrive each morning, they will stay on their bus and have their temperature taken while waiting on their bus. For dismissal, parents will enter the campus from Josephine Road and stay in one of the two lanes throughout the carpool. At the divide in the road, parents must pause to allow our staff to record their child's name. You must have a carpool sign hanging from the rear view mirror where the staff member can clearly see your child's name and be able to record the name for the student to come out to the front. Please make sure that your carpool tag has your child's name and grade level. If you have more than one child, please include both names and grade levels as big as possible on the same tag. After that, continue following the arrows toward the front of the building, not parking in any spots along the way. Parents must stay in their car, allowing staff to assist your child as they exit the building and get to your car. Staff members cannot assist with seatbelts or car seat harnesses, so please be sure that your child can do this independently.